Hi guys, so today I thought I'd do an unboxing of my Risa Power Dot Martins. My last video was the event, the launch party in Norwich. I believe that is now the largest store in the UK, so that's pretty exciting that that is in Norwich. If you want to see the event and what we got up to, then I'll put a link down below so you can see my vlog of that. But let's get on to the unboxing. So this is the box that they came in. And on the side you can see these are the Serena Cherry Red rouge i got these in a size four inside i didn't get a spare pair of laces like i did in my black pair which are the classic ones i'm going to compare the black classic ones against these red ones um, as i do find they are a bit different so these are my lovely serena boots they are so unbelievably comfy i when i first wore them i wore them 12 hours straight and I didn't have any discomfort at all. They are super, super comfy. Originally at the event, I was looking for the classic ones of this color. The only difference really between the classic ones and these ones are that the stitching on the classic ones are black and also there's a black kind of trim around the edge and there's not this faux fur. So this pair have faux fur inside, which is so comfy and so extra cozy. The fur doesn't actually run throughout the boot, it only runs kind of in this panel which is here, so it's not here and it's not here. The leather of these are really really soft, so that's probably why they were really easy to walk in. When I hear people talk about Dot Martens, they're always like, when you get them they're just so painful to break in, and that's kind of put me off getting them before. This is another second pair I have of Dot Martens, and both I got this year. I think when you first think about Dot Martens, they just seem a bit scary, that they're quite big, they're a lot bigger than kind of normal shoes I wear but once you kind of get over that I just literally put them with anything like in my vlog for when I went to the Dot Martens event I wore my black pair with a grey maxi dress so these are my black pair they still look so super shiny and new these were actually not too bad I didn't lace them up to the top I laced them just like down here I kind of noticed that's how a lot of people wear them although with my burgundy ones I do lace them to the top um, but I did find at the end of the evening at the Dot Martens event that it felt like my shins were almost bruised because it's literally so, so stiff. I guess if you're looking um, for a pair of Dot Martens, maybe look at the material they're made of because they're made of different ones. Like this is quite a robust leather and then my Serena ones are softer leather. I think the Pascals are maybe a softer leather as well so if you're looking to invest in a pair but you're worried about kind of breaking them in or you could um, get them, they're pre-broken in. In the factory they replicate them being worn with machines. I think they're £110, these ones are 100 and my Serena's were 120 but luckily on that event I did get 50% off so £60 for those was an absolute bargain. For this pair I also got a size 4 but I do feel the sizing's different. One of my friends was like is it because of the fur? Um, no because on this pair the fur isn't here so it's not really affecting like the length of the foot. I did originally have these in a size 3 and I'm more of a three and a half so my toes were literally touching the end. I have heard that you size down with Doc Martens, I think that's what I've heard because they do stretch. I wouldn't recommend, from personal experience, I wouldn't recommend sizing down. I would recommend trying them on because this size four and the size four of these are different. So I've literally put the soles, the heels at the bottom together and there is a difference. So both of these are a size four but I've feel that these fit me perfectly. The first when I wore these I was really conscious because it was slightly too big and I felt like I was wearing clown shoes so I just feel quite like conscious when I wear these ones but when I wore these because the leather's just a lot more flexible it just felt like it was more moulded to my foot and I don't know I, I felt completely relaxed in wearing these straight away. Does that sound weird? <laughs> I don't really know. They feel just so lovely when you put your hand in as well they feel so soft I've worn these so much and they still look in really good condition like they don't look battered or anything and um, out of all the shoes I've ever owned these are the most comfortable shoes like there's kind of like a cushioned kind of sole so when you're walking it just feels really springy and just really really comfortable. I've had actually quite a lot of compliments for these. This colour is really nice because originally I was going to get 
the original pair in this colour but unfortunately they were sold out. So they do have kind of other styles, there's like the Pascal which is like this but um, I think the sole's slightly different colour and I think the top of the edge is raw and also the laces are burgundy. These days are black. If you've never invested in a pair of Doc Martens, I would recommend that you do. They are a lot of money, but I think they're really, really well made. And these kind of shoes are going to last you a really long time. I do think they go with so much. I've been requested to do a styling video. At some point I will. At the moment I can't really because my dad's had a knee operation and he can't move the car. And where he parks the car is where I do my videos. So until he's better I probably won't be able to. I have done a few outfit posts on my Instagram of how I'd wear them. I literally wear them with dresses at the moment because it's quite cold. Tights and these. I wear these with my riding pants and jumpers. I've worn them with shorts and tights and jumpers. When I first did get them, I wasn't really sure what I'd wear them with, but I think you just have to get comfortable with wearing them and then, I don't know, I think then thinks it comes quite easily. So this is them from the front, but they're seriously like, I need to wear these in so much, they're so stiff, but these are just so, so floppy and just so comfortable. I really am glad I do have the black pair as well because these will go obviously with more. I just need to kind of get brave, wear some nice like thick socks that go past here to protect my poor shins. And I think once these are broken in, I'll wear these just as much as my burgundy pair. So that was the end of my unboxing. I hope it was helpful. Please let me know if you guys have any Doc Martens and what style you have and what do you wear yours with. Just so maybe you can help other people that aren't quite sure. I'll leave you now with a clip of them on so you can see what they are like. Please thumbs up if you did like this video. Please check out the vlog of the launch party. And please comment, like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll leave you now with a clip. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So, Leanne, what are you wearing today? My fluffy jumper from Topshop, this maxi dress from Primark with a slit down the Ooh, way. saucy! My Doc Martens, because <laughs> I'm going to Doc Martens. Woo, woo, woo.